So we talked about how we could use NAT gateways or NAT instances to um, gain access to the internet for our EC2 instances that live in a private subnet. But let's say you wanted to SSH into um, that EC2 instance. Well, it's in a private subnet, so it doesn't have a public IP address. So what you need is you need an intermediate EC2 instance that you're going to SSH into, and then you're going to jump from that box to this one. Okay, And, and that's why bastions are also known as jump boxes. And um, this EC2 instance for the Bastion is um, hardened, so it should be very, very secure because this is going to be your point of entry into your private EC2 instances. Um, and some people might always ask, well, if a NAT instance, if, uh, like NAT gateways, we can't obviously turn into Bastions, but a NAT instance is just an EC2 instance. Couldn't you have it double as a Bastion? And the possibility of it is possible but generally with the way you configure nats and also uh from a security perspective you'd never ever want to do that you'd always want to have a, a different ec2 instance as uh your bastion now um there is a service called systems manager sessions manager and it replaces the need for bastions so uh that you don't have to launch your own ec2 instances so generally that's recommended um in aws but you know bastions are still being uh commonly used uh, throughout a lot of companies because it needs to meet whatever their requirements are and they're just comfortable with them. So there you go.